Instead of complaining about woke shit, I've been watching A Scanner Darkly. A Scanner Darkly is a 2006 movie that stars Keanu Reeves, Robert Downey Jr., Woody Harrelson and Winona Ryder. Apparently it's one of the most faithful adaptations of any Philip K. Dick books out there. Other movies based on Philip K. Dick books being Minority Report, Blade Runner, etc, etc. I couldn't tell you how faithful this movie is to the original source material because I actually haven't read it. I have it, but I haven't read it because I've been working a lot, but life's a bitch. So the movie, as you probably noticed, uses an animation style called rotoscoping. Now rotoscoping is where a character acts out a scene and then they draw over the character to animate it. It's pretty unique, I have to admit. Uh, The only other time I've ever seen it done was during old Disney movies where characters would be dancing and they'd draw over them. It's not used extensively in those movies like it is here. And it really sets the movie apart, I have to admit. There's certain times where characters would walk into rooms and the room would morph around them and it really makes you feel like you are on drugs with these characters and I think that's a really nice touch. I'd love to see it done more often than modern day movies, maybe even a modern remake of this movie, although the way Hollywood's going these days, I think they should probably just leave it alone. The movie's supposed to be dystopian. I say supposed to be because there's scenes where Keanu Reeves is walking down the street and a satellite zooms in on him and is able to track his location. Yet, today we're carrying the cameras that are watching us with us and the microphones recording with us. There's also a scene where there's this guy, he's protesting, he's trying to whistleblow and he's black bag and taken away in a van and with the recent influx of secret Chinese police stations that have been popping up all over the world. That's not a far cry from what today's like. I don't know if this kind of imagery is as prevalent in the book, But if it is, my God, Philip K. Dick was on to something. So the story follows Robert Archer, played by Keanu Reeves. He's an undercover police officer who is hunting down the source of a drug called Substance D, which he himself has taken to try and blend in with other drug users. Now, as I said, he's undercover. So the police officers don't know who he is, but he still goes onto the station to give briefs and talks to other other officers. When he's on the station, he wears a, a suit, and it's a pretty cool suit. It morphs into, I think they said, like a million or a, th- a thousand or a million different faces of different people, of genders and races. It's a really cool effect, especially with the animation. Keanu Reeves is great. I don't think he's a great actor himself. Keanu Reeves is one of those guys, when I was younger, I used to watched The Matrix and I thought it was cool as fuck. And then as time went on, I was like, yeah, Keanu Reeves is a shit actor. But as I got older, I started to appreciate him more. And if you watch a lot of his movies, you see the dedication he puts in and you can definitely feel that here. Robert Downey Jr., fantastic. Great fucking performance. He's always talking really fast. His usual kind of fast, quippy dialogue that he has in all his movies with a with a hefty bucket of paranoia and conspiracy talk. He rambles incoherently quite a lot, which really shows how his brain has taken to this drug. Woody Harrelson and Winona Ryder have no real fucking presence in this movie, I'm not going to lie. Robert Downey Jr. and Keanu Reeves give the best performances in this movie, um, but I would highly recommend it. I don't want to give away too much about the plot because it's a very introspective movie where you have to sit and watch every detail of it. You might have to watch this movie a couple of times to fully understand it, but yeah solid 7.5 out of 10 so that'll do it for now i'm wanting to try and get into making more videos but at the minute i'm not really very comfortable talking into a microphone so i'm trying to build up the necessary skills to get me further along if you like this kind of content and you want to see my channel evolving then give me a like and subscribe uh other than that i'm away on